left in August 2011 and went to Hanoi, Vietnam to work with a Vietnamese non-government organisation called REACH. REACH does vocational training and job placement for disadvantaged young people. We were there for two years and came back just a few months ago. Even as a young person, I was struck by the incredible inequalities between rich countries and developing countries. Because I have had a family, raised three children, I haven't had the opportunity to go and work overseas. So, but it was always something that I thought I would like to have done in my life. But it was just not possible in the way things had worked out. So when our children were, was, grow, grew up, I said to Anthony, this could be the time, our time, to go and do something. Not just have the chance to work in a developing country, but to live somewhere outside of Australia. For me, one of the strongest memories is the friendship that I developed, or that we developed, with our landlord's family, but in particular that I developed with our landlord, Ang Nam. One night, uh, we had invited them, he and his family, for dinner, uh, and I had, they had often invited us for dinner, so I said, you must come and I will cook Vietnamese food. And I think they were all a little bit skeptical of the thought of, here was this Westerner going to cook this meal. There was not one bit of food left, and uh, their daughter told us later that her mother wanted the recipe for the beef with pineapple because she had never tasted such tasty beef with pineapple. And before we left, they kept saying to us, you mustn't forget us, you mustn't forget us. It was really very moving. They're the things that stay with me, that we have, we have had Skype conversations since we've come home, and this will be a friendship that endures well beyond our volunteering. Look, volunteering experience was just phenomenal. I'd say to anyone, give it a go. It's a, what a fantastic experience to go and live somewhere else out of your comfort zone for two years. And everything's a breeze after that. <laughs>